Hi, my name is Chris Guerrero, and for those of you who have followed me on social media, you probably know that I've been in business for over 30 years. I've grown 11 companies, four or eight figure companies, and the majority of the growth in those companies directly associated with the people in those companies. So if you own a business, one of your main responsibilities is to understand how to put together and manage a great team of people. And it doesn't make a difference if you're just getting started or your company's already doing 10 or 25 or $100 million or more. Your level of success, the speed at which you grow is either accelerated by or or limited by your ability to understand who your next best hire is. Because I could go into almost any company and two or three or four X its growth curve with one good hire, even if they're running crappy systems. What you can't do is grow a company with great systems and crappy people. And there's been three hires that I've made that have had a massive impact on the growth of each company inside of my portfolio. And I wanna tell you who they are and why they've been so important to us. And then I'll give you a ballpark on what each person would get paid. Okay, so first is a great executive assistant because a great executive assistant is gonna make you more productive from the very first day they enter your life. Meaning they'll take most, if not all, the bullshit tasks off your list so that you could be a rock star that you were meant to be. Now, finding a really great executive assistant is pretty difficult. So if you want a copy of the same paperwork and the processes that we use to go out there and find and hire and manage amazing assistants for each one of the executives inside of my companies, just go to greatexecutiveassistant.com. I posted videos showing parts of this and how we do this inside of our companies, but we get way too many questions when we do that. So we ended up making this whole program available outside of my companies for any executive who wants it. And I think the whole thing online is about $100. So I'll put a link to in the description if you want it. But the second most important hire for us has been a data manager because one of the greatest challenges that businesses have is being able to have fast access to the right number so they can make accurate decisions. And most companies, unfortunately, either rely on a bookkeeper or some kind of dashboard for that. And the dashboards out there, even the custom dashboards, have always delivered flawed numbers to us. Because the moment that one piece of software or a shopping cart or a bank account changes their interface, it changes the numbers even in a minuscule way that the dashboard reports to us. So the decisions that we make as a team or that you make as an owner are based on inaccurate numbers. So what a data manager does for us is they take bookkeeping to a completely different level. They understand all the metrics that each leader inside of my companies need every single day and they track those numbers perfectly. Whether that means personally looking through bank accounts or looking through our ad platforms or studying the, you know, the numbers in our shopping carts or most likely a combination of all that and a lot more. Then delivering the exact key numbers to each leader inside of our company first thing in the morning. And anytime throughout the day that leaders have a question, they could just go out there and ping the data manager and within a few minutes, they'll have the most up-to-date numbers so that they can always make accurate decisions. And this is a simple way to make better decisions that allows you to grow past your competition very, very quickly. And the third most important hire for us is an AI manager. Out of the 11 companies in my portfolio, 10 of them have an AI manager. And one of those companies has multiple AI managers because AI is so vital to the growth of most of our companies. And if you wanna see how we use AI inside of our companies, check out the episode that I uploaded called How to Talk to Robots. But listen, growing a company is an exercise in staying focused on the few key actions that drive growth in your company. And AI is gonna be a tool, but probably not the main focus that you personally need to stay focused on. I mean, I remember the very first week AI came out, I got so engrossed in it that I probably lost a week of my life, meaning a week away from being focused on what's really important inside of my companies. So hiring an AI manager, somebody whose only job is to go out there and study and thoroughly know all the AI platforms that could add value and save us time was one of the best moves that we could make. And they join our leadership team meeting every single week and they present each AI platform we need to either start or stop or continue using in our companies. That one hire has probably saved us hundreds of hours, but better than that, it's kept everybody on my team completely focused on what they need to stay focused on to move the company forward, and so they're not distracted. Now, the amount you could expect to pay for each of those positions is gonna vary a lot depending on two things. First, what degree of experience the person has, and second, what part of the world you live in, because hiring a great team member in New York is gonna cost you significantly more than hiring one in a state or a country that has a much lower 
your cost of living. But a great executive assistant, and by the way, I'm not talking about a virtual assistant, I'm talking about an executive assistant who you see every day in person and who could handle all the hectic scheduling that you've got going on and make you more productive from the very first day that he or she starts working with you. A great executive assistant is probably gonna cost you somewhere between 60 and $100,000 a year to start. And by the way, there's a lot that goes into compensation for any person on your team, including possibly a lower pay during a trial period or added benefits that make it appealing for somebody to take a job that maybe they would really want $100,000 for, but possibly they're willing to accept far less money for if they get amazing health insurance or paid time off or things that they perceive as valuable. But an experienced data manager is probably also gonna be between sixty dollars and $100,000 depending on where in the world they live. And an AI manager, depending on their background and their level of expertise, varies a lot. I've seen anything from $50,000 a year to one hundred and fifty dollars a year. And each of those hires could be an hourly paid independent contractor if you want. And if you go that route, a great executive assistant might be somewhere between $65 and $80 an hour. A data manager is probably gonna be $60 to $70 an hour. And an AI manager, maybe $50 to $65 an hour. Give me a thumbs up if you want more information about our top hires.